Type 15 also known as ZTQ-15, is a Chinese third-generation light tank. The vehicle was acknowledged by Chinese authorities in December of 2018 and said to have entered service that same time. It could also become a successor to the Type 62 light tank that was retired from the Chinese army in 2011 without proper replacement. Chinese requirement could be for at least 300 new light tanks. Type 15 is a low-cost low-risk venture with both Chinese and global export market in mind, targeting national armies that see more modern main battle tanks as out-of-reach budget-wise and require more firepower and strength than that as offered by multi-wheeled light armored tank systems. The new tank weighs around 33 to 36 tons, depending on its armor configuration. Mobility and rapid redeployment is the key factor of this new tank. The vehicle showcases a low-profile design consistent with contemporary Russian and Chinese tanks developments. This tank has a welded hull and turret which is fitted with a modular add-on armor kit which provides stand protection against firing of small arms and shell splinters. This tank has also got a passive protection system with a laser detector. The system triggers smoke grenade discharges once the tank is illuminated by a laser beam. The system reduces the chance of being hit by laser-guided anti-tank missiles. The main armament of the Type 15 consists of one 105mm rifled gun with a thermal sleeve and fume extractor, a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The secondary armament of the VT-5 includes one remotely operated weapon station mounted on the roof of the turret which is armed with a 12.7mm machine gun and one 40mm automatic grenade launcher. VT-5 carried a total of 38 rounds of 105mm ammunition which include armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo, heat, high-explosive, and gun-launched anti-tank guided missile. Its APFSDS round penetrates up to 500mm of rolled homogeneous armor. Such penetration capabilities are not sufficient to defeat modern main battle tanks over the frontal arc. However the anti-tank missile has a maximum range of 5,000 meters and is fitted with a tandem heat warhead and pose serious threat to main battle tanks, and can even target low-flying helicopters. The new Chinese light tank has got a modern fire control system. It includes laser rangefinder, ballistic computer, wind sensor, gunner's thermal sight and commander's panoramic sight with thermal vision. Thermal sight allows to engage targets at night and during adverse weather conditions. This light tank has got a hunter-killer capability, which is present on all modern main battle tanks. Commander uses his panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target, it is also equipped with a navigation, satellite communication and battlefield management systems. Type 15 is motorized with a 1000 horsepower electronically controlled diesel engine, mounted at the rear of the hull and coupled to a hydro-mechanical full automatic transmission with a pivot steering capability and a cooling system. It can run at a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 450 km. It has got a hydro-pneumatic suspension with adjustable ground clearance. Due to its lightweight the new tank is much more mobile than heavier main battle tanks. It can operate at high altitudes, where air becomes thin and engines start to lose power, the pressing question becomes where and when the PLA plans to deploy it. A major political impetus for the Type 15 was the need for a tank that can operate in the high altitudes at Betton Hills, in preparation for a prospective resumption of Sino-Indian conflict. Further, the tank is not amphibious but it can be airlifted by Y-20 strategic transport aircraft which can carry two of these light tanks. The Type 15 is a prime contender to modernize and consolidate the PLA Navy's armor division by replacing the aging Type 59 and Type 63 tanks still in service.